The West Midlands is to get just over £30 million in government funding to help improve problem road areas across the region. The money from the Department of Transport will be used in ten different areas, as Giles Latcham reports. The Birmingham Ring Road, like it or loathe it, for many an inescapable feature of day-to-day -day life. Holloway Circus, a gateway to the city centre. Trouble is, too often the gateway becomes a bottleneck, clogged by traffic from the south and west. But a solution's in sight. The government's to put up more than £3 million to pay for road widening and signals work intended to alleviate the jams. This is a major boost for the economic zones uh, of the city, the £600 million New Street gateway development, and it will help attract more businesses uh, to the area. Altogether, 11 projects will benefit. Three in Staffordshire, one in Wolverhampton, two in Birmingham, three in Warwickshire, one in Kidderminster and one in Gloucester. People living near Alton Towers in Staffordshire have long complained about the traffic it generates. Five years ago, one man was killed and 70 others injured on board a coach. No plans for a bypass, but the A50 will be widened and roundabouts built near the JCB plant at Roaster. The road network does get very congested. We have JCB traffic coming in and out, and equally there's tourist traffic going to Alton Towers. So news that the network will be improved will be good news for the business and good news for local residents as well. Last year, Midlands Today filmed ambulances trapped in tailbacks at University College Hospital in Coventry. A £5.9 million scheme will pay for improvements on the nearby A4600. It's really bad, absolutely queued up here and very, very difficult to get through. So anything that's going to relieve that is a blessing. It's not just about the roads. Birmingham Park and Ride facilities are regularly overflowing. Kings Norton's one of three railway stations to get extra parking spaces. Giles Latcham, BBC Midlands Today. It's